So today we are going to teach you 10 different tricks on your Samsung Galaxy phone based on routine, mode and routine, all right? So mode and routine, what is it? What is mode and routine? It's basically telling Samsung to do something in a certain time, certain place, a certain situation, they will automatically do everything between them, okay? Inside the software. So you have to set it up the first time and then every single day they will do it by themselves. Samsung Galaxy phone will do everything by themselves. So this is basically, it's like a timer to tell them to do certain things on a certain time, certain date, and certain places. Pretty, pretty cool. You don't have to set up every single day. You set one time and that's it. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, this channel is going to be hitting 1,000 subscribers very, very soon. Make sure you subscribe to help the you to algorithm to share to different people who really really need help who really really need help on these samsung galaxy phone all right please do that and thank you very much and thank you for your support and i will start today mode and routine 10 different tricks 10 different tricks you may not even think about but when you think about it it's actually pretty important and you want to set it up so the first thing i would like to share with you is when you get to this house, okay, this big house, no, not that big, and I would like to say, Samsung Galaxy phone, please unlock my phone, okay? Do not lock my phone anymore. Keep it unlocked when I connect to my Wi-Fi, okay? Once they connect to my home Wi-Fi, this phone is going to be completely unlocked because I don't need to lock my phone inside my house. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to settings and then you will go down and you will see mode and routine when you go to the mode and routine there is different things if you want ui 6.1.1 and when you 7 is a little bit different all right so now we are just going to go to routine and now we will go to plus and there's if and then so if connect to this wi-fi we're gonna go to Wi-Fi network and add. Make sure it's this Wi-Fi right here, connected. And then I want to keep my phone unlocked. So keep your phone unlocked. And then press OK and then press save. So basically this one here, it just tell Samsung every time it connect to this Wi-Fi, now your phone will be unlocked this is number one let's just say if you're going to go out okay leaving this house and you know somehow the wi-fi is still lingering to this wi-fi here okay but it's getting weaker and weaker let's just say you're watching a website or you're watching a youtube it's going to be running okay buffering right it's because that they are con still connecting to this wi-fi you want to disconnect this wi-fi when the wi-fi is getting weaker how do I do that? You go to the plus button there, and then we say, okay, Wi-Fi string is two bar or less, okay? Two bar or less. And what do you want to do? You want to disconnect the Wi-Fi. So then I want to disconnect my Wi-Fi because I don't want to keep running my Wi-Fi if my bar is only two or less. So when you press save, press done, and then that's it. So every time when my Wi-Fi is two bar or less, my Samsung phone will disconnect right away. So now let's just say we want to get in the car and connect my Bluetooth. So let's just say it doesn't matter how old your car is or how new your car is. I want to, when it connect to my Bluetooth, I want them to play my Spotify or YouTube music right away so play my music right away so i don't have to search the app pretty simple right so number three is we're going to press the plus button and now we're going to go for the bluetooth so we're going to search bluetooth device and then select the device okay the bluetooth device so let's just say it's my car bluetooth and then press done and then i want to play a certain app so I say play music and then I say YouTube, let's just say, and then press, press done. Now, when I connect to my Bluetooth speaker, the you know car Bluetooth, I want them to play YouTube. And then that's it, press save. 
and then press done and then that's it and that's number three so let's just say number four okay number four we want to go to work okay when we go to work we're not going to use our phone because we're working right so now we are going to be we want to put a power saving mode we want to save a lot of battery so when we get out when we get off work then the battery is still a lot right so what do we do so let's just say your location is blah 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 so we need to go to place and right here you want to select whatever you want okay so let's just say downtown okay whatever the place you're working at okay let's just say vancouver airport and then when i arrive around this area i want to turn on my power saving mode okay sure let's go for power saving mode you can actually search this power saving and then on so every time when i'm going to work i would like to turn on my power saving mode and then when i press save and then press done and then that's it and your phone will turn on power saving mode no matter what happened so i'm pretty sure the next trick is is very very important because i'm pretty sure you encountered something like this before or someone beside you encountered this before let's just say you play certain app uh, youtube tiktok uh, facebook instagram you were playing something and your phone was up here and then somehow you quit and, and you stop and then you quickly like do something else and then after one hour later you go back to this youtube and then suddenly the volume just boom like this so loud it scared you it scared the people beside you because you forgot to turn down the volume you forgot to turn down the media volume right so i want to set this up for you guys to avoid this so we want to go to the plus button first every time when i want to turn uh, open a certain app okay let's just say youtube or maybe tiktok okay i will say tiktok okay and now i want the volume to go down i don't want suddenly you know the volume stay up there and people get scared i don't want that so then i want the volume media volume remember it's media right so you want to the phone speaker go down you want the bluetooth audio go down and you want the wire headphones if you have that go down as well too and then press ok so once you do that so everything set up whatever you want the volume so every time you open a tiktok the volume will go down automatic so you won't scare anyone press save press done that's it done very very simple because a lot of time i you know i hear people sit there right beside me and suddenly their phone just boom like this it gone up because they don't have a setting inside to set so let's just say you have a samsung dax and you want them once you connect your samsung dax you want to connect to the bluetooth right away okay bluetooth speaker so it connect like a pair you want them to do it yourself uh, do them by themselves you don't want to do it yourself so in order to do that is if i want to connect samsung dax start and i want the bluetooth to connect my bluetooth the um, soundbar and then i just need to press save and then that's it what if you actually want to exit this no more send on dax you're going to go now you can turn this off and then turn your bluetooth off as well too so you can set two separate uh, mode and routine and then that's it pretty simple so the next trick is is only if you're going to use your fingerprints not fix id but fingerprint and you want to go certain website so for me because uh, i'm a content creator i want to go to youtube and my last left uh, fingerprint i would like to go to my youtube studio so i actually set this up myself but now i'm going to show you how to do that so go to mode and routine and press the plus button and now we want to search fingerprints 
So if you unlock the fingerprint, fingerprint one, and I want to do certain thing, you can do anything you want and then play YouTube. Okay, so I just search YouTube and then that's it. So after you search your YouTube and then it will start playing YouTube and then that's it. So this is gonna be left finger and the right finger. If you have four fingerprints and then it will open four fingerprints at the same time. If you want to open the calculator, if you open, want to open your flashlight, so you just need to be aware, does it make sense to you? But you can do certain thing, you press save and then press done. So every time when I use fingerprint one, it will go straight to YouTube. So some of my customer, they actually said that every time when they, um, let's just say answer the call and basically there's someone, suddenly someone speak too loud, they lower down the volume for that, you know, that, you know, phone call, right? Because that other person so loud, but not everybody is so loud, right? But because you turn one time uh, volume down for that call, that volume, it stays on every single call. I would like to teach you today to set this up on your mode and routine is every time when you get a phone call, it will go back to this level. Even though you certain time you actually lower the volume down for this one call, it will go back by themselves because we set this up today. So this is what, what you're gonna do. You go to press, uh, press a plus button, go to if, phone call, okay? Incoming call from anyone or specific one if you have someone that is you know super loud. Now we want to make sure that our phone call, the volume is high. Yes, the volume, call volume. Make sure you go a little bit higher. So once you go to call volume higher, so even though that one person you lower down the volume as uh, like, you know, for that one call, it will go back to the normal call, all right? Some people I'm telling you, they did happen this before. And then they keep saying that like, oh, I couldn't hear you, I couldn't hear you. And they came to my store, I said that like, oh, how come I couldn't hear anyone? Because the volume was so low that they forgot to turn it back up. So now you don't have to do that anymore. So the next trick is, is actually basically when you're at nighttime, you do not want to keep the phone this bright or you want to turn on your, the, you know, the comfort eye mode, okay? So if you around the sunset or sunrise, no, sunset, around the sunset, your phone should be automatically turned on the comfort eye mode. So the blue light mode. So how do we do that? So we have to go to mode and routine, go to if, and then we go to go to a specific time. And then let's just say sunrise, no sunset, okay? So sunset every single day, you want to turn on your blue light. Is it called blue light comfort eye? Yes, eye comfort shield. Turn this on. You want to whatever you want, okay, or adapt, okay? They will do everything for you. So basically, every time when you're at nighttime, they will do that for you. And now you can press save. What about the sunrise? So when the sunrise, you can actually take this off and then that's it. So automatically, they will actually do this for you and make your eyes more comfortable. Or if you want, you can actually add one more is the, the brightness. You don't want to turn your know, brightness too, too bright, right? So you want to lower down your brightness when it's nighttime. And then now I would say keep around 45% because when you're indoor, you don't need that bright. So keep 45% and then press save and then that's it. Pretty, pretty cool. So have you ever, ever, ever uh, run out of battery, but you didn't know that you actually run out of battery because sometimes you do so many things. Let's say right now, I'm actually like 37%. Did you know that they can announce to you, like, yo, can you charge your phone? Like something like that, right? So let's just say we're going to go to GIF and then we will say battery, okay? We will say battery level, uh, below 20%, let's just say, okay? And now they could announce, I think there's announce, and then go to Dan, read text 
out loud. Okay, just type that. Read text out loud. And now you can write charge my phone and then press done. And now it will announce to you that like, yo, charge my phone. So this is actually pretty, pretty cool if you want to do that. So this is gonna be very important when you think about this. If you actually, uh, let's just say, if you turn off a certain alarm, you usually will go back to sleep. Did you know that you can actually force yourself not to go back to sleep by them telling you what you know you should wake up now right so you can use the read out loud as well okay let's just say read out loud and then you just keep saying wake up wake up wake up wake up okay keep doing that and then you just need to copy and paste the whole entire time and then it will be so cool that you got so annoyed up to the point that like you want to wake up right wake up 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 okay so this is it please if you like this 10 tricks on your samsung galaxy phone please do that and please um just open everything up it will make your life much easier all right please subscribe my channel share this video and have a good day bye bye peace out